Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, and myself Jason bringing you whiskey review number 90 and today we're going to be reviewing the Treacle Chest by Weems Malts. Now this is actually a blended malt, so something rather new to our channel. I'm actually going to show you a picture in just a second of how the bottle does look and I got sent this part of a tweet tasting I did, hopefully I'll put that up in front of my face. So yeah, I got this little set and... I got that part of a tweet tasting and I decided since I got samples left over, may as well review all the whiskies. So, this is part of their family collection. There is another one. I think there's two so far. One's Vanilla Burst and this one is Treacle Chest and they combine together to make the family collection and it is blended malt. So it's not a single malt, it's a, co a combination of a few. So anyway, I put myself a dram in take, I believe it was one of this. Now this is like take three. So I'm going again. So that's the Treacle Chest just over there. And I'm going to leave a question for this video and let me know your responses. What's your favorite Christmas dram? Let me know your comments down below uh, what you think is your favorite Christmas dram. And there's many I'm going to be sort of doing up leading up to Christmas as well. And I think it's something kind of interesting, Christmas drams. Uh, so I have not done many so far. I think I've done Glen Goyne 21, which is one of my favorites. But yeah, minus that, let's get back into the video review. So first ever whiskey from Weems and also I believe it is... Um, the first blended malt I'm covering on the channel. So in terms of my review style structure, age statement wise, this is a non-age statement. Uh, AB bottled at an ABV of 46%. The cast selection, as it is a blended malt whiskey, it comes from two Highland single malts and they use 14 uh, first fill X sherry hogshead cast. So they use a combination of that into making this whiskey. Now in terms of the distillery is the Kings Barn Distilleries, which you can see over there. And what they do is they actually make, they're making their own blender malt because they're still a very young distillery. The parent company for them are Weems Vintage Malt Limited, or just call them Weems Malt. And uh, the region for them are effectively in the lowlands of Scotland. However, because this one is a Highland single malt, as it's a Highland, a Highland blended malt, it's somewhere from the Highlands, so we've got to figure out where that is from, but they don't tell you because it has to be a secret. Now, in terms of the price point for the big full bottle is $46.95, what I saw, I think, this morning on two websites that we buy from here in the UK, um, Whiskey Exchange Master of Malt. And in terms of exclusivity, is it exclusive? Yes, it is. It is limited to 6,300 bottles only. Once they're done, they're going to have to move on to another one. In terms of caramel color, this is all natural color and it is also non-chill filtered. So you're getting, you're retaining all that nice natural color and goodness from the whiskey. It's got some really lovely legs in this one. So let's get into reviewing and assessing the color of this one. I'm gonna hold up to the camera. Let me know what you think at home. I'm gonna say this is like an amber. It looks quite rich, quite deep, quite healthy. So let's begin by assessing the nose, into the nose. First notes off the nose, straight away I'm getting quite a nice healthy sort of cereal note, but it's like cereal coated in a jacket of sort of treacle or honey. It's kind of weird, but the name sort of goes hand in hand with this one. You do get what reminds me also of a sort of uh, sugar coated almonds, quite a nice sweet, but also that same nutty character coming through. A little bit of butterscotch as well, like one of those Werther originals. And then a nice citrus, a ripe, sort of a ripe Seville orange, quite sort of rich with a character of citrus, but it's soaked up a lot of sun. You're also getting a slight sort of a spicy aspect on the end of this one, and it's like sort of mild cloves, but then it comes back with a little sweetness. And that sweetness is like sultanas, figs, and I'd say a little bit of light prunes. Not heavy, but quite, quite distinctively there. So next, let's move into the palette for this whiskey. So to begin on the palette for this one, it's really nice, rich, viscous, oily, creamy, chewy texture to begin with. Wow, didn't expect that. It's got a nice sort of toasted sort of apple crumble, like if you leave the apple crumble in the oven just ever so longer and it toasts the top of it, just like that. It's a bit chewy, the apple notes come through, a little bit of that crumble, a little bit of that soft charring on the top. Then you get like a nice rich rum, sort of rum and raisin sort of ice cream. Even that creaminess comes through. It does have a nice sort of fruity character as well behind that. Prunes and figs, quite ripe, chewy. And it follows behind that the spices, the mouth-warming spices, that sort of gingeriness. I was going to say gingeriness. A little bit of ginger, cinnamon, 
I'm definitely like a soft clove that just sort of warms the mouth up, but it's not like uncomfortable. It's very nice. It's quite sort of Christmassy in itself. And we're still a few weeks away from Christmas. But really, really nice. Overall, really nice texture. So we're going to have, I think, and then we're going to move into the finish and then come to my conclusion on the treacle chest. So onto the finish of this whiskey, it does have quite a lot of those mouth-warming spices coming back from the palate. That ginger is coming back. It's got a lot of those sherry fruits, those raisins, prunes, figs. I would go so far as to even say dates. And then it's got a little bit of like what is like a bitey spicy note. And that's like a crackle of black pepper just sitting on the sides and more around the sides and probably the mid palate as it sort of fades away. But still so juicy, succulent. And a soft sort of tangerine grind or tangerine waxy peel. Wow. So I'm going to get my conclusion to this whiskey and give my rating. And this is going to be such an easy one. I'm going to go with a 92 out of 100. Reason behind that one, I think this is just absolutely a fantastic whiskey. Uh, in terms of, as I mentioned, the beginning of the whiskey, uh, sorry, beginning of the review, beginning of the whiskey, um, I found this one really just sort of like, I mentioned about Christmas drums. This one I think is like Christmas cake in a glass. It's just got so many of those fruity, sweet characters and the spices come through and it just becomes so enjoyable. And at 46 pounds, uh, I would say that's complete value for money. It's got like a... It's like a sherry bomb, but it's not so over the top. And the ABV is only 46, but yet it's so viscous. And I find that just incredible. Would I recommend time with this whiskey? If you want to sit there and enjoy your whiskey, it can be easily one of those ones I'd say is a sipping drink, uh, sipping whiskey, or in terms of the context of would you leave it for some time? It's optional. It doesn't seem like this one will fade or get really sort of longer you leave it, I don't feel it'll be affected at all. In terms of adding water, you can add water. I have experimented. That's why you, you can see I've kind of gone down on my sample. But with water, if you add a few drops of water, this whiskey sort of eats it up. So you can add quite a healthy amount of water and it still, it'll hold itself quite well. So it does take a, quite a bit of diluting if you want to take out the spicy aspects and really enhance the fruity character. But all in all, I think this is a fantastic whiskey. I'm giving it a 92 out of 100. Let me know what you guys think of the Weems Treacle Chest if you have tried it. But also let me know also in the comment section what's your, going to be your Christmas dram this year. Give me a selection of three and uh, I might feature it in a video coming up soon because I want to take some suggestions in upcoming videos. So on that note, I'm going to leave the video at that. We're closing in on review number 100, which I'll be working on next. So review number 91 up to 100 this is coming very soon. So anyway, on that note, it's been Jason Whiskey Wise. If you have enjoyed, drop it a like. Be sure to hit my subscribe button. And also be sure to check out my latest videos, which will be over here. I'm going to leave the treacle, no, the vanilla burst over there when I do get a chance to record it. So anyway, on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video.